here we're introducing Sycophin Red Horse Fry. Little babies brought from Georgia uh, for a large project that we've been doing for several years. These uh, fish are very rare. They only occur in the upper Little Tennessee, Tuckasee, and Hawassi rivers. All the places in the world they occur. The main agencies in this partnership includes TVA, U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, the state of North Carolina, the state of Georgia, and the Eastern Band of Cherokee Indians. And we're trying to establish a viable population of Sickfin Red Horse. You know, the population has been declining, and, and if it continues to decline, it will be uh, put on the federally endangered species list. And we want to prevent that, and that's what the partnership is doing. We're working together, we're leveraging resources uh, to assess the population, to improve aquatic habitat and to re-establish populations where they once were. It's a sucker species belonging to the red horse group. It's one of six different species that occurs in the Tennessee Valley. It is also very culturally significant to the Cherokee Indian tribe. We're here today on the reservation to stock of these fish. I work at the Warm Springs National Fish Hatchery down in Warm Springs, Georgia. Um, that's where we raise uh, the Sucafin Red Horse. During the spring, we'll come up and work with partners from the Cherokee Tribe, the state of North Carolina, and TVA. And we will spawn fish on the river on site, uh, fertilize eggs inside the river, bring them back to the hatchery, incubate them, hatch them out, and raise the fish there. We try to do a stocking in the fall and in the spring. Most of our fish are going out in the fall this year. We have approximately 20,000 fish to stock this year, which is a lot more than we've had in the past. Um, it's been a really good year. The reason this project is important to the Cherokee is because these animals were once one of the largest food fish, and uh, once upon a time moved up and down these river systems. And were very important to the Cherokee, both culturally and as a, as a species that was uh, uh, possibly an important um, food product for them during times of need. Here are a few individuals of the size that we're stocking today. As you can see, they're, they're really, really small. And hopefully they'll grow up to be two and a half feet long and swim in these waters.